Hi, my name is Thomas Boyd, and today we're going to do the third installment of my Advanced Creative Adjustments tutorials in Aperture. The basic idea is I'm going to go through these photos and just make adjustments on them and talk about the reasons why and the decisions that I make and how to do it. It's that simple. Let's get started. We're going to start with an image that it was shot as right as the sun went down. The street lights are on, the car headlights are there, and is what it is, there's a runner that was running. The train goes by, she has to stop, but while she stops, she stretches her leg. So the main thing we want to do here is we want to crop it. We want to intensify the sky. Make, we want to make this picture pop with color and composition and all that. So the first thing we want to do, and where I almost always start, is with a uh, crop. Now, granted, I want you to realize we're in full screen mode here. Um, so. I want to crop this thing. It's a mild crop that I want to do. Um, I want to get rid of this, this white space up here in the corner and just bring it down below that. I don't want to get rid of the green here, so I'm going to take it all the way over. And there's also this green grass down here in the corner um, that, I, that I want to deal with. I want to keep in there. And there's also this broken glass. Sorry, that keeps popping up there. There's a broken glass down there, so I want to just do that. I'm going to go right up as far as I can there, so I have a little space there. I want to come in maybe just a little bit here. And there we go. Now, I noticed, too, after I crop this, that I'm, I'm leaning a little bit. You can see these vertical lines are leaning over. I probably should have done this before I crop, but it really doesn't matter. We're just going to straighten this thing out. It's, it is better to, to straighten before you crop because when you straighten, you often leave, um, it'll mess up your crop. So you have to recrop. But that doesn't really matter. So we're just going to do that, hit return. And now my vertical lines are straight. Now, like I said, I am going to adjust my crop a little bit because I want to bring it in past the edge of this wall right here because I don't, I don't want that. I don't like little dangling edges or corners or whatever messing up my edges. Always kind of just scan the outside of your of the frame. Okay, so now we're ready to bring up the adjustment HUD. <clears throat> and uh, first thing we want to do is start off with a real, just start off with an S curve. We're just, all we're doing, we're bringing down our shadows a little bit. I'm going to go to the edge of that curve and just, Bring that down just a little bit. I, I don't want to go too far. See what happens? The shadows block up. Because what we're trying to do is make this thing snap, but also still, <coughs> excuse me, we still want to be able to see into the shadows. So what we're talking about here is a very minor adjustment. Very minor. I may have you. Now, one thing, if you want to get, here's a little trick for you here. Click on your dot and you can actually move it with the arrow keys a little bit yeah okay it's kind of hard to do with a mouse you know you're kind of jerking around a little bit so okay we've done that next thing i want to do is go to the black point and here's a little trick hold down the command key and then slide in is what this does is show you where the blacks are the blacks will be black and i don't want to overdo it i don't want to go take it in that far i just want where I know there's blacks, which is in the, the belly of this car right here, I want that to be black. That'd be the only place, maybe her shorts. Okay, so again, I'll show you that one more time, just so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, now, just with those two adjustments, I'm gonna go back to the master image. All right, that's done a lot. Now, next thing I wanna do is darken the sky and darken the foreground a little bit. So we'll, we'll go down here to um, Add New Curves Adjustment. And that's going to give us the opportunity to just look at the sky. We'll do the sky first. I want to bring it down about right there. Now, realize I'm also going to darken the sign because it's going to be too critical and too difficult to not get halos around this sign here. So that's okay. And I can be a kind of radical with this when I'm looking at it. 
that's fine because I can readjust it after I brush it in. Now we'll say brush curves in. And we want a fairly large, we want a pretty large brush here. Now notice I'm just kind of getting the middle just to get a feel for this. Let's uh, decrease the size of our brush quite a lot. Take it down about 